it's good. Um, you know, I always enjoy coming to camp, rep teams, and um, you know, it's been a real positive part of my career over the past couple of years. So it's good to be on the team. Oh, like I said, yeah, the past couple of years at club level have been you know, a bit of a struggle for us down in Cronulla, so um, you know, it's good to see what team's going to be down there, but to be able to play for New South Wales and Australia on a regular basis has been something that's really kept me going and you know, m- making me want to play well. Obviously, mate, sorry, yeah. was there an option, you know, you well documented your knee and you could have quite easily, I think if you had taken time off, it would have been understood, but you wanted to play? Yeah, definitely, um, you know, they, they rang up uh, when we got knocked out and, and asked how it was, and, um, you know, there wasn't any doubt that I was going to put my hand up and play it. Um, and the knee's fine, you know, I, I, I did miss a lot of training going into the back end of the year, but um, I haven't missed a session so far this week and uh, things are feeling pretty good. How tough was the, the last part of the season? I, I was reading that you really didn't want to take so much in training, barely at all. You kept that pretty quiet? Yeah, I actually yeah, did, didn't train a session at all for probably uh, six weeks. So, you know, I suppose it was working okay because I was still playing okay and, and we weren't going too bad. Um, those last four games that we won two out of and took Melbourne right to the end. So you know, the way I was playing wasn't really reflecting that I wasn't training. Um, but I suppose moving into the back end of the year, you need to have combinations with people. And, um, that was something that we probably done for the back end. How much trouble is it? That was, um, because I wasn't training. So how much trouble is it uh, causing you now? Is it still a problem? Or? No, no, it's fine now. You know, I just, I just really needed a rest. And like I said, we got knocked out first week, so I've had. I had four weeks off, where it's um, probably three of them. I didn't do any running; it's just all indoor work, and kept my fitness up that way. But uh, like I said, this week I've been training and haven't missed a session, and um, it's fine. From what we heard, you're one of the main players in getting Jimmy Tamo to pledge allegiance to uh, New South Wales and Australia. Is it great to see him uh, in the Test team? He's not just a one Test wonder. Yeah, that was uh, obviously early on in the year when um, you know, he told me he was available. So yeah, we had a talk, and um, yeah, it's good. I mean, he's, along with Matty Scott, he's probably been the best runner on the competition all year, he's, and ever since he has. Risen to, to rep level, he's taken that back to club level as well, and you know, he certainly deserves his spot. And he's you know, probably along with Matty Scott, that you know, one of the first two forwards picked. Cool, red thing's going to happen on Saturday night, you're going to get uh, cheered. <laughs> I turned up to the airport the other day and a bloke actually said to me, it's going to be the one and only time I cheer for you, so I said, <laughs> I said thanks. Yeah, I know, but uh, no, it's good. It's good. I'm not sure I'm being great in. So. Just looking at, it's only a year to go before the World Cup, Shenzhen, it'd be silly to change coaches a year out. Do you think you just give Connie and should stay in the job next year? Oh, look, Shen has done a really great job for us the past couple of years, and I know, you know he really wants to do the World Cup next year. So, you know, I mean, if we have success you know, on the weekend, and, and we've had success over the past couple of years, I don't see there's any reason to change the coach. You know, he does a great job, and all the players enjoy playing for him. Just, just, just happened to be down in the main. Just on the record, I'm glad to be really distracted. Has he come to you through bus and all Oh, look, no, not anymore. I mean, we had a conversation earlier on in the year, and. Um, yeah, like I said, obviously since then he's, he's gone back to club level and that's something that I, that I did tell him, you know, go back to club level and play like a rep player and uh, he, he hasn't missed a beat all year at, at club level and obviously when he's played rep for the two he's been you know, one of the best players on the field so yeah, um, he, he's a rep player now, he deserves his spot and I hope he can keep it up. Do you think he'll be more settled this time around? There was a lot of speculation yeah. last time he's he lined up against the Kiwis. Yeah, I think so. I mean, last time... Coming into in your first camp, you're always a bit nervous, and, and some, sometimes in your first game at any rep level, you're a bit of a passion here. And, now, he certainly wasn't that, but he, his week was certainly hampered by the amount of media attention that he got, and he probably wasn't able to be himself at training or around, or around camp, so this week he certainly has been, and um, yeah, I'm sure we'll see a much better play for Australia this time. Do you think his best football is still in front of him? That, you know, oh, oh, no doubt. I mean, he's still, still in early 20s. And, you know, he's, he's, he's probably still got a lot of maturing to do on and off the field, so yeah, he's, he's the best put he's definitely still in front of him. Gal, is it nice, sorry, is it nice to have, um, you know, you've got Greg Miles alongside you, Greg, uh, Greg Miles, Nate, the, um, <laughs> Nate Miles yeah. and Greg Bird alongside you, and uh, much has been made of you guys rebuilding your reputation, you used to be the villains, but now uh, everyone loves him. Yeah, I suppose, um, <laughs> I suppose, like I said, when, when, you, when, you, when you grow up a little bit on and off the field, you just mature and realise that you don't have to do certain things to, to attract attention or get respect, and I think me and Bertie are, are well past that now. So it's always good to go out there and, you know, and play tough footy and, and try and get a result, and that's all that's what me and Bertie try to do. So it's good to play them again. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Gal.